Hi guys, Blake and Matt from UK, and this is a little video talking about the brand new Adidas Speed of Flight Pack. So which boot is for you? The ACS Plus Pure Control, the X60.1 or the ACS Plus Pure Chaos or the MSS60 Plus Pure Agility? You'll find out by the end of this video. So the first boot we'll talk about is the ACS Plus Pure Control, solely yellow and black. This is by far my favourite colourway of the ACS Plus Pure Control so far. And of course we've got that chrome sole plate, really really lovely colourway. Definitely a boot I'm a big fan of. I did wear the Ace 15.1s last season and they're very, very wide fitting, great in terms of fit. This is pretty much the same in the Ace System Plus Pure Control, very, very wide fitting and yeah, it will fit any foot type out there. The one downfall of the Ace System Plus Pure Control is that it does have no laces so you can't really customise the fit the way you want it, you can't customise the tightness the way you want it. You pretty much have to get the right size when you buy these boots. What do you think, Matt? Yeah, I mean, agreeing with Blake, there's no doubt the new solar yellow with the black is a great colourway. There's no doubt about that. It's obviously the summer months, so these are going to look really fresh, especially have some white socks. If you're a team that play white socks, these are really going to pop out with those socks. In terms of if you want a boot with a very modern feel, it obviously doesn't have those laces, and the Pure Control is a great boot for you. It's going to give you a nice, clean striking surface, which is something that I do like when we obviously tested the boot. So, yeah, these are very modern football boot, modern colourway, but it's a very high-end product from Adidas. So these boots are pretty much marketed for those central midfield playmakers, the likes of Ivan Rakitic, Paul Pogba and Miss Ozil are the head numbers of the Pure Control. Really, it's, yeah, it's got conical studs and it's pretty much designed for that central midfield playmaker. Any player can actually wear these boots on the pitch. Central defenders, I would suggest this boot would be a good boot for you, as well as goalkeepers. Really sort of wide fitting boot, it's going to fit everyone. I think this is the best boot in the Adidas collection. But that's just my opinion. We'll get on to the X16 range now. Well, I mean, so we do have the X16.1 here, so not the actual pure chaos. And just like the 15 range, that launch X that came out, the 15.1 wasn't really for me. And what I did, I opted for the Prime Knit version. These X16.1s are still quite stiff. So we've actually worn these and they were quite stiff to play and they haven't really broken in either. So if you are interested in the X boots and you can afford it, then do go for the Pure Chaos in my opinion because it's a little bit more premium and features a much softer upper. Yeah, so the one difference the X16.1 has over the X16 Plus Pure Chaos is the lacing regions. So on the X16.1, the laces are on the exterior. There's no sort of tongue region. And on the X16 Plus Pure Chaos, there are laces, but they're covered by that Pure Cut Sock system. And yeah, it's all about personal preference of really what you want. Some players with the X16 Plus Pure Chaos actually tie their laces, but keep the laces out. Nanny did that at the 2016 Euros. He scored three goals in the X16 Plus Pure Chaos. But this X16.1 is a much more affordable alternative to the X16 Plus Pure Chaos. Same deal with the A16 Plus Pure Control. We've got the A16.1, which is the much cheaper alternative. And on the Messi 16 Plus Pure Agility, we've also got the Messi 16.1, which is the cheaper alternative to this boot. So we'll get on to the Messi 16 Plus Pure Agility. Now this is marketed for Lionel Messi himself. He actually wears the 16.1, the Messi 16.1, over the Messi 16 Plus Pure Agility. We don't know why. It is the cheaper alternative to this boot. And yeah, this is the narrowest of the three. If you were someone that wanted a sort of tight fitting boot, especially in that midfoot region, you really probably should go for the Messi 16 Plus Pure Agility or 16.1. It's all up to you to decide. And yeah, and this is the first time we've seen shot blue on the Messi range. Really, really nice design. Of course, we see that chrome sole plate. It's got that Gamma Track stud system. Are you a fan of the Pure Agility, Matt? What do you think? I think it's actually a pretty good boot from Adidas. I think the upper is one of their best uppers that they've actually ever produced. It's still very soft, it has a grippy texture and it has that honeycomb. So it is actually a very good product for me. I think it's very, very good. I'm not too much of a fan of the shot blue colorway. I'm not a really fan of blue boots. I do really like the solar red and the solar yellow, but I do think it's a great boot. One thing to look out for, especially compared to the Pure Control, is the difference in collar. So they do both feature collars. We've got the Prime Cut and also the Tech Fit. Now the prime cut on the pure control hugs on the ankle really nicely but one thing about the pure agility and also the pure chaos is it doesn't actually wrap around the ankle as tightly there is just a little bit of space so if you do want that really locked down fit and responsive feel then you could go for the pure control over the pure agility or the pure cat but saying that the pure agility actually features a very very nice upper and in terms of fit, the Messi System Plus Pure Agility is the slightly more narrow version of the lot of by Adidas for all any Adidas Speed of Light pack. The X16 range itself is very wide fitting. It's one of the widest fitting speed ranges we have seen by Adidas Football, as we mentioned before. And I feel like that's the best thing about the X16 range. Someone like me with really, really wide feet, I could only 
really wear the Ace range or a Predator range by Adidas Football, but now I probably could go for something like the X7.1 or the S7 Plus Pure Chaos. So out of the three, Matt, which boot would you actually wear on the pitch? Well, obviously, we have reviewed the Pure Control previously and it was a boot that we both actually really enjoyed in terms of where it looked and for me the way it actually performed so I will go for the pure control I still think it's a top level boot from Adidas and I think it's a boot that's probably going to stay here for quite a long time and for me I have to agree with Matt the Asus and Plus Pure Control yes it does fit my white feet perfectly but this is just the colourway wise I, I'm in love with it like it's solely yellow a bit of black I did like the launch edition with green, but green is not really my favourite colour for a football boot. Yellow is definitely my favourite colour. You see Volt Yellow on Nike's football boots, and you see Safety Yellow on the new Puma Evo Touch by Puma Football. Now you've got Solar Yellow on the Asus Impulse Pure Control. Design-wise, I'm in love, and boot-wise, I'm in love as well. The one downfall with the Pure Control is that it's not the most responsive boot out there, but that's just a minor downfall to this really stunning boot itself. So which boot would you go for? The Messi 16 Plus Pure Agility, the X16.1 or the X16 Plus Pure Chaos, or the A16 Plus Pure Control. Please vote in our poll card now with which boot you would choose. All top quality boots, all pro level boots, all worn by heaps of professionals in world football. And so yeah, that is our top video on the Adidas Speed of Light Pack. Any questions, drop it in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and as always, we'll see you next time.